whatever you're looking for in a Bluetooth wireless headset, this is a really great budget unit to consider. <laughs> So I recently bought this Bluetooth budget headset. Now, interestingly, it is marketed at truckers and it is great if you're driving a vehicle and you'd like to wear this and use it for phone calls that are gonna mean that you're hands-free. I bought it because I want to type less. And these days, you know, you've got Google, you've got Apple, you've got Amazon who have these voice assistants that are really, really good at picking up voices. Now built into um, Apple devices like my MacBook, which is just over here, there's Apple Dictate, which is really excellent at kind of dictation on the fly just using your words. And it's this kind of an accessibility feature built into the computer. And I thought, well, I'm doing all of these quick replies. What if I didn't type it, but I just wore a headset in the office and I could just hotkey with just, well, I've set mine up to do Apple D, hotkey, Apple Dictate to come alive, then I can just say a few words through a decent microphone and then I don't have to type as much. And you know what, it actually works, except for I'm in an open office and sometimes it's just a bit weird when I just start talking in the middle of silence or you know, and, and people think I'm talking to them in the middle of a conversation. Anyway, that aside, whatever you're looking for in a Bluetooth wireless headset, this is a really great budget unit to consider. Now, there's not much branding to it, it's a KH23 and it's made by a company by Sar um, Saraville is the, is the name of the company that make it, but they, they actually market it um, first and foremost as a trucker headset. Now you could also use it in a call center, you could just use it in the office, you could use it at home, you can use it in your car when you're driving, um, you, you know, you could use it anywhere you like. It's got a 270 degree rotating microphone so that you can use it on this side. Would you like fries with that? Or you can flip it over and do it on this side. Sure, drive through please. So it has a fantastic battery life. So I think it runs, uh, yeah, 400 hours on standby, 60 hours of music, which I don't know why you'd want to listen to. I mean, pleases you, then you could listen to music in mono. Uh, and also 35 hours of talk time at 70% volume. So you could use this all day. It, I think it charges in about an hour and a half. So if you're on the road all day, or if you're in a call center talking all day, this is gonna do more than you need. And as long as you charge it at the end of the night with a USB-C charging port here, you're gonna be absolutely fine. Comfort wise, you know, it's quite tight. You know, there is a bit of pull on the side and I don't have a particularly big head, but I found that if I just left it there after a while, I didn't really notice it. But I will say that it does have, there's a bit more pressure there than I would like, um, but it's definitely, definitely comfortable. And, and again, you, you actually probably want that, especially if you're driving or moving your head or, or you know, being active. Um, there's lots of give and slide in the headphone headband. Uh, you know, you can, there's a lot of motion in that. So you can definitely get it over larger heads, no problem at all. It comes with built-in noise cancelling, which was really impressive. Um, I wanted something that when I was speaking, it wasn't picking up, uh, you know, the ambient noise of the room. And if you're a trucker or a driver and you're looking for a headset, then obviously you want it to mute out the sound of the car or the vehicle or the truck that you're driving. So it definitely does that really well. Active noise cancelling, thumbs up. Battery life, thumbs up. Comfort, pretty good. You can also pair this with two devices at once. So you can multi-pair like say with your phone and your computer or your tablet and your phone or whatever devices you'd like to dual pair with. This can do that too, which I think is absolutely brilliant. It's Bluetooth as I say, and you can charge it. I think overall, um, I don't think there's a lot else to say. It's really light, it's about 140 grams. I think in terms of budget um, Bluetooth headsets, it's really good. Um, the buttons that you've got, you've got the um, power on button, which is here. You've got a rocker switch here for your volume up and down. And then you've got a mute button down here, which is um, nice and easy. You know, you want those to be tactile. So, because you don't have a visual cue, you want to be able to reach up and just press that button and know that you're muted and then press it again. There is an LED light indicator in the back of the power button. You have to hold it down for quite a while to turn on and light up. And then once it does, it's pretty good. It just said it's connected. And there are voice cues in the unit as well. So as you turn it on and off, it will tell you. 
power on, power off, headset is connected. Nice memory foam. It is a good memory foam on the inside of the headband just to add to that comfort. So for those long periods, it'll look after you. So that's it, that's the KH23 budget uh, headset. Not something that I expected that I would buy or review, but because it was really quite cool and because it's been working for me with Apple Dictate on my MacBook, and I'll, I'll share a post on how to enable um, Apple Dictate so that if you'd like to try that too, you can as well, especially if you've got your own office so that people don't think you're a bit weird. That's it, any questions, fire them away in the comments below. Take care, hit all the buttons that um, make this channel work uh, if you have found this helpful and we'll talk to you soon, bye for now.